Wait. There's a... A penguin party? What? Research plain mail. Penguin? Yep. Ice sculpture of a penguin wearing armor. A mod that gives eagle warriors icicle spears? A mod that replaces knights with a penguin riding a polar bear. Well, this is quite honestly the best event in Age of Empires. <laughs> well, welcome back everyone, hope you're having an awesome day, and today we're going to start our LC campaign on hard. We've done a lot of the other campaigns on hard, so if you like, make sure to subscribe, and all of that YouTuber stuff. Uh, but we're just going to jump right into El Cid. There's also an event on. You like penguins? You know? Get into it. <laughs> Alright, let's go. El Cid 1. Brother. Aiken's brother. Oh, enough. You have troubled me for three blocks now, stranger. If you agree to cease this dogged pursuit and leave me to my lamentations, then I will answer your relentless questions. I will tell you why a dead man rides through the streets of Valencia. I like that the crowd just you stops talking. Like castle on the hill. <laughs> that is the home of Rodrigo Diaz, whom more and Christian alike call El Cid. It is from the Arabic Sayyid, which means Lord. He is the greatest man who ever lived. The Cid was a knight and loyal vassal of one of the old kings of Spain. When the old king died. His kingdom was partitioned between his surviving sons, Sancho and Alfonso. King Sancho ruled Castile, a windswept barren land named for its many border castles. The Cid continued to serve Castile and its new king, as was his duty. The sly King Alfonso ruled Leon, but openly plotted to become king of all of Christian Spain. There was soon open warfare between Castile and Leon. Classic. The struggle climaxed at the Battle of Golpejera, where the Cid attempted to capture the wicked Alfonso. I hope I don't have to say that because I am not very good at s Spanish. Spanish. Yeah, Spanish is a language to read. Uh, sorry, I had to go answer the door and do some stuff. So, become King Sancho's champion in a trial by combat. El Cid is restricted to the castle age at a popular limit of 100. Most of the stone in Castile has been quarried for the namesake cities. Almost all of the stone that remains is in the territory of King Alfonso. Some of the folk may pledge themselves or their homes to the charismatic El Cid when they see him or his soldiers. El Cid starts alone. You can only gain troops if they are granted by King Sancho. Sancho's subjects are friendly with the Cid and might prove helpful. King Alfonso is your enemy. He is a well-fortified city. Your initial forces can probably damage your city, but it is likely you'll need to train some reinforcements, particularly siege, to destroy his castle. The border between Golpe, oh my, Golpe Hiera to the north and the Castilian border castles to the south should have ample space and resources. Alfonso trains knights and pikemen, so guard your cavalry with pikemen. No. Welcome, Rodrigo. The tournament awaits Agora. only your arrival to begin. Radio. The champion in combat, Rodrigo Diaz de Vivar. And I will give you command of my army. Let the tournament begin! Oh, we get to do it. Let's do it. Alright, zoom in. And we have Sancho Swordsman coming in with a big swing from the right there. And then we have El Cid blocking and parrying to the left. Oh, he's doing a little spin maneuver, it looks like. Doing a spin maneuver. I'm clicking the wrong buttons. There we go. He hits him from behind now. Moves him over to the other side of the ring into the more pr pristine area. And that's the final cutting blow by the El Cid. The Cid Bring me your stupid horse. I'll fight you. you would face him from horseback? He afoot? I will not allow that. However, if he wishes, I have a horse for Rodrigo in my Ooh. stable. Rodrigo. Jose. The horse Babieca comes from the renowned royal stables of Sevilla. It is actually... Get out of it, mate. All right? Can I just... <laughs> oh, I love this sprite. I love this sprite. A splendid sight. It was always my now, favorite sprite, even like OG Age of Empires. Just, I like the little fleur de -lis on the back bit here. And the cross on the chest. This makes me happy. You know? Weird things that... You know, I just sit there and go, yes, I like that. Bueno. The seat. You the seat. will lead the armies of Castile. I am glad that you have won. You are the only man I would trust. No problem, King. Yo, let me out. Rodrigo, you know of my brother Alfonso. 
Wait, can I run this way? Know of his ambition to rule all of Spain. Let's have a look I need here. you to travel to his castle at Golpehera. So I know there's a little path up here. I do remember that. To me so that I may persuade him that ruling Leon That I may persuade him to join us. Remember that from the uh, Mongol campaign that I didn't play? <laughs> didn't do that mission properly? Where'd these girls just come from? The seat. Oh. Group one. Let's just run this way. You'll be group three. We'll put you roughly in the middle there. Two. I'm going to take a knight and immediately send him that way. Group one. Alright. Champion, El Cid. El Cid. Bon chance, John. Remember that? God. That's, this is... Our excuse me. Are yours, El Cid. <laughs> soldiers. Not two weeks ago, another army trapes through our fields and destroy half our harvest. Mind your lumbering feet. Sí, I am no jesting, soldiers. Degrado. Get out of Boy, these agora. fields. Degrado. Bro, what? Is it? My lord, <laughs> you Boy. lead the rebel uh, uh, the soldiers? Boy. I'm sorry, sir, if so I didn't actually know that was a thing. Sí, I'm just sitting there like, what is he yelling at? What? I was, uh, I was not aware of that. Okay, once we get this, t oh jeez, all right. Once we get this town up, we'll get some woodcutters. We have heard of the seed's piety and would humbly join oh, the service. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, so I didn't explain. So there's an achievement for this mission, obviously. Um, the missionary. Who gets five, the five relics on the map. And to bring them. With this building, you have begun your quest in earnest. I send my thanks and the thanks of Okay, so we'll get them all out. We're just going to bring this knight out here, hopefully, first. So, um, yeah, we'll use, uh, there's five relics. There's the four there. For some reason, there's just four around here, not in the monastery, but whatever. And then, uh, Alfonso has one. So hopefully we can kind of... No ballistics, cool. Yeah. Look at that. I'm a pro Age of Empires person right now. We'll do that. At least uh, my monks will be safe. That's all I wanted to do there. So yes, get the uh, five relics. Um, oh, hello. All right, I'll take them. Right. Look, I was expecting too much there, I reckon. Alright, let's get some houses up. I'm going to build... I'm not going to build anything. Never mind, it's all good. So good. I need to worry about it. Uh, yeah. So what we'll do is we we'll get some houses up. Monday. Uh, shift. Shift control. Yeah. I hit. I hit one immediately afterwards. Just so you're aware. So you're on defensive. Group two, you're also on defensive. Just having a quick look around. Good little defensive uh, area. And we'll build a dock and we'll start getting some fish, I reckon. I think there's some conquistadors in here or something like that. Uh, but it won't matter, because we won't really need conquistadors. Uh, what is... Builders work faster. Blacksmiths don't cost gold. That's cool. Cannon galleons benefit from ballistics. We're not going to get there. Gunpowder units fire faster. And monks convert fast. That's kind of cool. Um, okay. Let's just get some fish there for now. 
Um, let's build some more houses, maybe. I'm so I'm just laughing at the fact that the farmers here were like, "Don't step on our fields." Or what would have happened? I am actually kind of curious. What would have happened if I kept doing it? Oh well. All right, we're kind of getting the economy running. I could probably build a market and use the gold I'm getting from the relics, but uh, that sounds like a lot of effort on my part. We'll just get people. We'll get probably a couple more on wood cutting. Maybe. What I'll do is I might get like roughly 15 on wood, right? That sounds like a lot. It is. But I'll get 15 on wood. Oh, there's a berry bush here. I didn't even know that. See, bush guard. And um, and then I can take five off and put them on like gold or something. See? But I absolutely want to get some. Blacksmith going. Couple more fishing ships out. <clears throat> I really thought that was actually a bit worse. A little bit of a tickle. Little bit. I can build that one, so okay then. What's that? Yeah. Uh, let's get a. Mm, more people out. Uh, can I build? I can't build a market, so it won't even matter. Let's get some stables. I think stables are probably what we'll go. I only have 300 stone, and I know there's a stone mine up here. Uh, but it's not exactly ideal, you know, because I'll come up here. There's stone mines here, but... Hit him! Oh my goodness. Oh no. You're meant to be three, that's why. Oh, come here, Dale's getting attacked, run! Get my knights and run them out now. I don't like this. Well... <laughs> Uh, we had three, I think, here, so we'll take these two and we can build some more. Alright, that was definitely not the ideal plan right there. I heard a monk? Random can keep the door over here. Right, run away and regroup. Can keep the door is kind of amazing. Okay, let's get some more villagers out. Get a lumber camp. Let's build some more. What am I? I'm at a hundred house, so I don't need to build anymore. Okay, cool. Let's get a market. Build it like there. Uh, actually, let's not. We'll build it there. Build a couple more stables, maybe. Get my farm eco. Start setting that bad boy up. Right, we just need to protect these monks, really, because I don't want to have to build more. Because I am lazy. Monday. There. Build one here. I can just build one there. Nice. Um. What else do I need? I need. Let's maybe get. Uh, we'll get these stables up. Put some towers, maybe. One there, and just kind of to protect me from the front here. Actually, we'll build this first, and then build those towers, and then come here. 
Yeah, okay, more villagers. We got one more down here. Let's get some upgrades. Because it's only food as well, remember that. Which is beautiful. Things I like that. Cultivar. Get those all done. I don't ever remember researching bloodlines as the Huns, but I suppose we could have had it at some point. I do have a market. Yeah, we'll just do that, and then I can eventually just buy a uh, castle age after this, hopefully. A couple more drop offs. Beautiful. Okay. Um. I think we've got a pretty good eco. 13 minutes, we've got a pretty good eco. We've got uh, builders doing their job. Uh, build that, build that, build that. Let's get a couple more people on gold mining, I reckon. Uh, we'll need probably... I don't think I'll need that many. Let's just do... We'll get five on gold, I reckon. Because food's kind of the thing I actually kind of need, that's all. Get a couple more fishing ships, I'm alright with that. But we will pretty much get to a point where it won't even matter. And yeah. Alright. Uh, can I do anything up here? Nope. Makes sense, I guess. It's only... We're only in feudal still, I guess. What I'll do is I'll build like maybe a university here, a couple of siege workshops. Might get a couple more not stables ready for knights. Cause we're only we're only a hundred, isn't it, for the pop limit? That's the wrong one. A uh, hundred, yeah. So what I'll do is I'll probably just work on getting university up, Monday? research the stuff there, and uh, and siege workshops. Yeah, blacksmith might. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Alright, we've got the plan ready. First we'll do that, then we'll get... It, it's just me, or are they bigger than usual? I suppose I didn't really build siege workshops as Huns. I'm so used to looking at, like, Hun buildings and going, yeah, that. But I suppose, yeah, I don't... I don't really uh, pay attention to that, do I? Let's do that. Oh, what, what happened there? Alright, how many archers do I have? I've got five. Let's put them in this one. And then my infantry can go in my um, siege workshop units here. When I eventually get them. Let's get that, let's get that. Yeah, food's kind of the stopgap here, isn't it? That being said, I'm going for knights, so... It's really not going to be a problem, you know. Let's do that. How many do I make? I made one. Okay, that was terrible. I was like, oh, I'll make it like at least two or something. I reckon four should do. Woodcutters, you're so slow. Yeah. See? Right, we'll put uh, groups in here. Make them faster and all that jazz. Alright, so I'll have three fully garrisoned uh, rams here, so that'll be nice. Yep, bring them into the death zone. Nice. Get those in there and. Actually, I think I'll have, I'll have one more unit left over. Alright. Um, do I need anything else? Uh, I think I'll be right. There's a parkman there, but that's really nothing. Ballistics. Let's get tail one off. Alright, I think we're pretty much ready. Uh, you're now group two. 
Going for there. Group three. Uh, I'm gonna bring El Cid down here. One click. Oh, then. Uh, and then let's get. Nope. I hit Scout by accident. Get the missionaries. Get their buildings. Da -da -da -da. Let's, um, oh, let's get rid of that, please. Alright then, this is new. That is a lot of siege. What is going on here? Alright, let's get the uh, castle. I think that's all I need to hit, yeah? I don't think I um, properly worked through all this stuff here. Okay. Knights have knocked out all their siege at the very least. Yeah, we got uh, people here. Interesting. That's wow. Okay, they've just got a siege sp spam going. Got it. Okay. That I did not expect. Mm-hmm. Radio then. Goodness gracious. Alright, let's get rid of these military buildings, I think. We don't need to, but I think that I really d underestimated what I'm going against here. Well, let's just start hitting this tower wherever I can. I'm so glad I didn't send- imagine if I sent El Cid in there and then lost. Uh, that would actually make me cry. Okay. Let's sell some food. That ram. Good work, Sage. Okay. Right, we at least got the barracks. Let's go here. There's probably dog dogs barking in the background. I don't know if you can hear that. Alright, we've got our knights here. They come on, break this tower. There we go. Okay. We'll do that, but we'll send some units up here. You are... These knights are now group one. Alright, you deal with that. Knight best knight, we should be okay here. This is these siege units that need to stop. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it. I could tell you right now. I was sitting there like... Alright, there's the relic there. So at the very least, we just need to work on this now. Alright, let's get rid of this uh, scorpion. I think once we knock this castle down, that's th everything else is pretty much done. I need to build a monastery, please. 
just so I don't have to run them. Uh, uh, let's get further. I don't know if that'll actually help. Okay. So, my brother would have words with me? Since you leave me no choice. I run away, run away, run away. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm okay here. Right, they should change their... King Alfonso's army changed diplomatic stance to neutral. The alley. There we go. Okay. Beautiful. So he should put that in there. So by then, we can send our troops over to the tournament grounds. Uh, here. Alright! 23 minutes, not too bad. Um, a little bit longer than usual. Um... That siege definitely took longer than it should have. But I reckon that's probably my fault. I should have had a couple more things. But there we go. That's uh, all five relics. We got one in there. We got the four in here. Uh, achievement got. And I'm pretty sure it's the only achievement for this campaign too. Yeah, see how he comes up. There's a path here. I mean, we went out there before as well, so. I'm just making sure you know that I know that you know. I think there's a king in there. That's where Sancho is. Once we get the tick here, I'm going to garrison them. There we are. Let's put them in here. So they can go see the king, eh? Beautiful work. Nice and easy first mission. Didn't really feel like a Spanish mission, but oh well. Oh, I have houses up here too. Nice. defeated Alfonso's army in combat. The Sly King knew there were more devious ways to win a war. Alfonso lured his brother, King Sancho, to a secret conference below the city walls of Zamora and had him assassinated in the night. With the death of his brother, Alfonso became king of both. <laughs> He's so done with the lives. It's like, oh the my god, I'm king. <laughs> king in Christian Spain. The Sith could not trust King Alfonso, yet he was sworn to serve his king, and that man was now Alfonso. The Sith forced King Alfonso to swear an <laughs> He's oath so smug. of sacred relics if I but must. he had nothing to do with Sancho's death. Before his army and his court, a nervous Alfonso did make this declaration. In so doing, the Sith helped to cement Alfonso's claim as king in the hearts of the people, for they so trusted the Sith. King Alfonso did not recognize that the Sith had done him a service. Instead, Alfonso held a grudge against the man who was the greatest of his knights, forever doubting him. Alfonso also was jealous and suspicious of the Sith's popularity. With oh, the soldiers it's basically the Joan of Arc, but in he Spain. Sent the Sith into dangerous battle again and again, but always the Sith emerged victorious. It's Joan of Arc, but Spain. I can't believe it. All right, 167, nice, 23 minutes cash the ledge and then we beat it in three minutes later, it's not too, well, I mean 23 in-game minutes I suppose, so 10 minutes later. Um, I don't think there's anything to see on the map, it's just, you see, you see it all because um, it's like pretty much all revealed to them once you build a market. Cool! All right, nice and easy achievement. I don't know if the ding played. But if it didn't, oh well, who cares. Uh, all done. El Cid, number one done. Next, I... Uh, I messed up the, <laughs> the outro. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we got the missionary achievement. Good on us. Very hard achievement to get. Uh, compared to the Attila the Hun ones. <laughs> they were annoying to get. Alright, uh, thank you for uh, watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTuber stuff. And I'll see you in the next mission for LCD 2, the enemy of my enemy. Catch you around.